Hi everyone, welcome in this flow with a focus on opening the side body. So opening the side body, that means that we will bring more space in between the ribs here on the sides of the upper body, but also bringing more freedom to move here in the outer hips. So after this practice, you may experience uh, a more energized uh, feeling, you maybe feel more active, but especially on the breathing, you can feel a deeper and a softer breath. And in my personal experience, when I practice really on opening the side body, afterwards I can enjoy some feelings of really uh, freedom and joy. So let me know what your experience is after this practice. It can be useful to have one or two blocks nearby and also a blanket. If you have sensitive knees, you can use a blanket to put under your knees. Otherwise, you are okay just with one or two blocks and your mat. So let's start and we start in child's pose. So place your knees at mat distance apart, big toes together, bring the sitting bones close to the heels, walk your hands forward, lengthening the spine, relax the shoulders, Lowering the forehead down on the mat, or maybe you take the block to support the forehead if the mat is too far away. And start with breathing in and out through your nose. Focus on lengthening the spine. Bring the sitting bones towards the heels. Bringing the chest forward, shoulders relaxed. And just for a moment, observe your physical body. What can you notice? Maybe some body parts are feeling colder than other body parts. Maybe you can feel some stiffness in the body or maybe you experience more flexible parts. Just observing, no judgments. Now bring your full awareness to the breathing through your nose. Fully breathe in and out of your nose, feeling the ribs expanding on every inhale. And relaxing the body on every exhale. Keep the breath long and smooth. And now start walking your hands to the right side. So when you go to the right side, make sure your forehead is still on the ground or your block. And deep breathing to the left side of the body. Maybe you can imagine you send every breath here to the left side of the body, bringing space, bringing freedom. center. One full breath and walk to the left side as much as you can. Breathing to the right side of the body. One more breath. Come back to the center. One last breath here in child's pose. Start walking the hands 
close to the knees, lift one by one the knees, bring knees and feet together. Now curl your toes under for Virasana. I know this can be pretty intense in the backs of your feet, but I promise we don't stay too long. Relax the arms next to the body. Take a deep breath in, lift your arms up, lengthen the spine, shoulders down. Exhale, you come to a twist, come to the right. Left hand outside of the right thigh, right hand at the back, maybe grabbing the left outer hip. Keep the spine long. The gaze is to the right, maybe to the back. One more deep breath. And inhale, lift up, come to the center. Exhale to the left side, right hand outside the left thigh, left hand at the back, or maybe grabbing the right outer hip. And looking over the left shoulder, maybe over the left shoulder. Feel what's possible, feel what's available. Inhale, come back to the center, lift arms up, exhale, release. And also release those toes. We come to Anahatasana, so we keep the knees at hip distance apart. The pelvis is straight above the knees. Now, pull your navel in. Your navel is coming close to the spine. So really engage your lower belly. And start to walk the hands forward. Keep the arms active. Lower your heart towards the mat. Place your forehead on the mat. Or maybe you place the chin on the mat. A few breaths here. Lower belly, engage. Keep breathing through the nose. Now you can stay here if you want to deepen the posture. You can turn the palms up facing the ceiling. Last three breaths. Two. One. Palms down. Lower belly on gate. Start to walk the hands back again. Curl your toes under, come to a downward facing dog. Bending one by one the knees. Deep breaths in your nose. And come to a standing down dog. Turn your toes to the right. Both hands are really grounding into the mat. Keep the lower belly engaged. One more deep breath here. Come back to the center and turn to the left side. Strong belly, strong breath. Maybe you already feel the difference between the right side and the left side. Come back to the center and bring the knees to the mat. We take Parigasana. It can be useful to take one block close to you. Come on our knees and we keep the upper body in the pelvis straight above the knees. Extend the right leg out, come on the right heel, flexing the right toes. So just checking your own body, upper body, left leg and the left knee are in one line. Pull the navel in and turn the tailbone straight towards the earth. Engage your right leg, your straight leg. Inhale, lift your arms up. Keep the length and exhale and turn over the right side. Keep breathing through the nose. A few breaths here. Strong belly, tailbone down. Pubic bone forward and inhale all the way up. Left hand on the mat or maybe you use the block. Inhale, right arm up and over the head. Extend the whole right side. Belly is engaged. Remember to keep the upper body in one line with the left knee. And if you 
you have enough space, you can place the left fingertips on the mat. One more breath. Strong belly. Inhale, come up and we take a flow. Exhale, over the right side. Inhale, up. Exhale, to the left. Inhale, up. Keep the belly engaged. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale, left side. One more flow. Inhale up and exhale. Inhale up and exhale. Left. Inhale up. Now take your block. Place it in front of the right thigh. Inhale. Left arm up. Keep it over the head. First option. Place the left hand on the back of your head. Right hand on your block. Now choose the height of the block. And we start here with a few breaths. Lifting the left elbow up towards the ceiling. If you are okay and you feel there is more space available, you can lower the left finger, the right fingertips towards the earth. Keep the belly engaged, feel the bone forward. One more breath. And inhale up. Other side. Placing the left heel to the left side. Strong left leg. Flex the left toes. Upper body is straight above the right knee. Navel in, tailbone straight towards the earth. Inhale, lift the right arm up, long spine. Keep the length and exhale over the left leg. First, a few breaths here to feel, to open the body, feel what's available. Chest up. Last breath here. And inhaling up and exhale. Take the block on the right side. Inhaling left arm up and over. Pubic bone forward, strong belly, tailbone straight to the earth. If you are okay, you can place the fingertips on the mat. Otherwise, you keep the block. One more breath here. Strong belly, inhale up. And we take the flow, exhale, over the left side. Inhale up, exhale to the right. Just up, inhale, exhale. Inhale up, and exhale. Last time, inhale up, exhale to the left. Inhale up, exhale to the right. Inhale up. And we deepen the posture. Grab the block, place it in front of the left thigh. We start with the right arm up, long spine. Place the right hand behind the head. Left hand go to the block. Lower the block if you feel there's more space available. Turn the right elbow towards the ceiling, just up. We move in the right elbow upwards. If there is more space, place the left fingertips on the mat. Remember, the belly stay strong. You will be going forward. Last two breaths. Chest up, up to the ceiling, right elbow to the ceiling. I know this can be intense, but it's good for us. Inhale up and release. Put the blocks to the side. Come on, heads and knees, curl your toes under, come to a downward facing dog. And standing down dog, few breaths, the navel in, lower lip, ribs in. And lift the right leg up, that right knee, pull the right knee towards the ceiling. Lengthen your right side, both hands are grinding into the mat. And right foot to the mat, lift the left leg, bend the left knee, open the knee, lifting the knee towards the ceiling. 
Check both hands, especially the left hand, grinding into the mat. And release. Slowly start to walk the feet towards the front of the mat. Keep your feet a hip distance apart. Take a deep and inhale. Flatten the back, lift halfway up and exhale. Inhale, halfway up. Place the left hand in front of your toes. Now bending the left knee. Inhale, lengthen the spine and exhale. Turn to the right, lift the right arm up. Chest turns to the right. Keep breathing to the nose. Keep space between the shoulders. And exhale, come back to center. Switch sides. Right hand in front of your toes. Bend the right knee. Inhale, lengthen the spine. And exhale, twist. Chest turning to the left. Lifting the left arm. Long arms. Breathing through the nose. One more breath. And exhale, release. Take a deep breath in, halfway up. Exhale, fold forward, Uttanasana. Two more times, inhale, halfway up, maybe hands on the shin bones. And exhale, release. Inhale, up. Exhale. One more time. Deep inhale. Open the shoulders. Ground your feet in the mat. Navel in and release. Exhale. Ground your feet in the mat. Strong leg from belly. Inhale. Come all the way up. Keep the spine long. Now, stay with the arms over your head. The right hand is grabbing the left wrist. So I show you. So you can see, lifting the arms up and exhale, moving to your right side, grinding the feet in the mat, strong legs, strong belly. Your left hip is moving to the left side. Inhale up, we switch sides, so left hand is grabbing the right wrist. Arms up, inhale and exhale. Upper body moving to the left side. Your right hip is moving to the right. Extending both sides of the body, lifting the chest up. One more breath. Inhale up, release. We come to the front of the mat. Big toes touching. Legs strong, navel in, chest up, tailbone towards the earth, arms relaxed. Now close your eyes for a moment. Feel the soles of your feet touching your mat, the earth. Feel the energy coming up from the feet towards all your body. Strong breath through the nose. Feel the action in the upper legs. Feel the belly engaged. Now slowly open the eyes. Keep the whole body strong. Inhale, lift your arms up. Now exhale, fold forward, Uttanasana. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, fold forward, set the right foot. To the back, we take Anjali Nasana, lower the right knee to the mat. Make sure you have the left knee straight above your left ankle. Low lunge, female, coming up. Now exhale, lower the right hand to the left knee. Stay here. Lift the chest up. Moving the pelvis forward. Inhale, right arm up. Stay here. And exhale, lower the left hand to the back of the right thigh. Keep the gaze up. One more breath. 
Inhale, both thumbs up. And exhale, curl the back toes in. Stretch to downward facing dog. A few breaths here. That is strong. Lower ribs in. Inhale, lift the right leg up. Bend the right knee. Exhale, bring your knee close to the chest. Round the spine. Stay for three, two, one. And slowly send the right foot between the hands. Left knee on the ground. Inhale, lift your arms up. Navel in. Now move the pelvis forward. On an exhale, lower the left hand down to the right knee. Stay here. Inhale, left arm up. And exhale, lower the right hand down to the back of the left thigh. Keep breathing. One more breath. Inhale, both arms up. And exhale, hands to the front of the mat. Curl the back toes under, lift the left knee. Inhale, step the left foot to the front. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, flat back halfway up. Exhale, release. Inhale, all the way up. And exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, Uttanasana, step the left foot to the back. Anjali Asana. Inhale, both arms up. And exhale, bring the left hand to the left side of the body. Inhale, center. Exhale, now move the upper body to your left side. It's an option. Maybe you place your fingertips on the mat. Otherwise, grab a block and place it on the dead hand. Or keep the hand on the left hip. Just up and forward. Inhale, left arm up. Exhale, right hand to the right hip. Inhale, center. Exhale, upper body to the right. Keep moving the pelvis to the front of the mat. Option, right hand on the block or on the mat. Keep breathing through the nose. Chest up and forward. One more breath. Inhale, both arms up, and exhale, release, step to downward facing dog. Inhale, lift the left leg up, bend the left knee, bring your knee to the chest, stay for three, two, one, and release, left foot in front of the mat, right knee down, low lunge, inhale, And exhale, right hand to the right hip, inhale, center, exhale, upper body to the right, right hand on the block or on the mat. Now make sure you keep moving the pelvis forward. Right hand up, exhale, left hand to the left hip, inhale, center, exhale to the left side. Choose your option, stay here, left hand on the block, up. Fingertips on the mat. Just forward, hips forward. Smile on the face. Inhale up. And exhale, release. Throw the back toes under. Step forward. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway up. And exhale, release. Step both feet to the back. Come to a high plank. Take a deep breath in. And exhale, lower the knees down. Or take chop. Right down. Inhale. Up. And exhale. Come back to downward facing up. Feel the difference in the body, in the side body. Now come on your knees. Take a seat. I'll take a variation of Jano Sirsasana. So you may extend the left leg, placing the sole of the right foot 
on the inside of the left thigh. Engaging the straight leg, flexing the toes. Now keep the gaze to your right knee, so the bended leg, long spine. Take a deep inhale and exhale, fold the body over to the left side, lifting the right arm up and over. Now you can take options, you can keep the right, the left elbow on the mat or maybe on the left thigh or maybe you are go further and you're grabbing the left toes. Make sure you keep the chest up and over. Maybe placing the right hand behind the head, lifting the elbow, the right elbow towards the ceiling. And if you feel the space, maybe the right hand is also reaching to the left foot. Always listen to the body, what's possible, what's not possible today. No overstretching. Always having respect for our body. And inhaling, coming all the way up. Other side. Straighten the right leg, flexing the right toes, engage the right leg. Left sole of the foot is coming to the inner side of the right thigh. We keep the gaze to the left knee, the bended leg. Long spine, inhale. And exhale, start moving over the right leg, left arm is coming up and over the head. Feel that you can place the right elbow on the thigh or on the mat. Maybe this side feel a lot of more intense or is maybe you feel more tightness. Maybe placing the left hand behind the head, turn the left elbow up towards the ceiling. Maybe grabbing the foot with the right hand. Checking, can you still breathe through the nose? If you want to go deeper, grabbing the right foot with both hands, keep the chest turned up and over. Strong breaths. One more deep breath. And inhale, we come all the way up. Straighten the legs. One last asana or posture. Now bending the left knee. Bringing the left heel towards the right buttocks and placing the right foot outside of your left leg. Aklamatien Drasana. Take a deep breath in, long spine, right hand is behind the back. Inhale in, long arm, lift the left arm up. And exhale, now place the left elbow outside the bended knee. Turn the gaze to the right. Maybe you look over the right shoulder. And if you are familiar with this posture, maybe you take a bind, placing the left hand under the bended knee, right hand is coming to the other side, and we interlace the fingers or we take a bind with both hands. Remember, wherever you are, it is okay. It's okay where you are at this moment. Step by step, we make more space in the body, more space in the mind. And one more breath here. And release. On the side, bend the right knee, right heel towards the left buttocks, and we place the left foot outside of the right knee. Left hand behind the back. Take a deep breath in, lengthen the spine, lift the right arm up, exhale and twisting, place the right elbow behind the right knee, turn the gaze to the left, maybe over the left shoulder. Keep the pelvis neutral, only the upper body is turning to the left. And if you feel there is more space available, take a bind. Last two breaths here. And 
come back on an exhale to the center. Take your legs out. Now, come back to the center of the mat. Come on your back, bring the knees in, circle the knees, giving the lower back a massage. Placing the feet at mat distance apart and swing your leg from left to right. Come back to the center, take Shavasana. Spread your legs, turn the toes out, spread your arms with the palms facing up. Take a deep breath through the nose. Open up the release. The eyes close. Keep the gaze of the eyes soft. Your face soft. Now I really recommend you stay here for a few minutes, if you can, more than five minutes. And if you are short on time, you can slowly start to bring movements in the toes, in the fingers. Stretching your whole body out, arms overhead, toes forward. Take a deep breath in and exhale, release. Bring your knees one by one in. Come on one side, coming up again. Take a seat with the legs crossed, hands on the knees, and close your eyes for a moment. How is your breath? How is the mind? Is there more space in the mind? How is your physical body? the palms of the hands together in front of the heart. Take a deep breath in, bring the hands to the third eye and exhale, lower the hands down towards the heart. Slowly open the eyes. Now, thank you for practicing together. Let me know what you experience after this practice and I hope to see you again. Thank you. Namaste.